so good to see you. Look, before we get into what we're celebrating, which is your Juno nominations, because you're already a Juno Award winner. So, but we're going to get into that in a second. I need to talk about the post that you put up because you couldn't make a show. And what happened? Because when I saw the video of the snowstorm. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Can you talk about that? Because the fact that you're still alive is like blessings, brother. Oh, man. Yeah. Well, it's funny because it, it brings me back to that story. Remember, like the. I, I told the one story of, of like leaving Northern Ontario because falling through the ice and like, I got to go, I got to go play music and do it. And like, here we are going through this, this blizzard. You can see five feet in front of the car. Um, yeah, it was wild. Like we were, we were just driving completely under this, uh, this, the storm front the entire time uh, out in the prairies. And cause like I, I was, I'm out on the road opening for Allison Russell and oh man, what a like, treat that has been like, but we were driving and um, so like me and John, the videographer, uh, John Butler, we're in the SUV, like we rented an SUV and we're kind of chasing the bus on this tour. And um, yeah, the, the storm just got insane. Like we were, we were on our way to Saskatoon and we made it like so close to Saskatoon. Like we were like 100, 117 kilometers away. And that, that's just where we had to call it. Like we, we, we pulled over, we couldn't see, like, you'd see like five feet in front of you driving down the highway and then suddenly you'd see brake lights and then you'd have to stop. And the thing was like, I, I, the rental car company, like they don't have to put snow tires on their vehicles anymore. So like, I'm, I'm up there, like I, I was driving and we're coming down even from Edmonton to Calgary. And like, I went to get some gas and uh, they didn't salt the roads. It's just like the, the the gravel or the dirt they put on there so i'm going around this corner to pull in to get some gas and the car just keeps going straight and john's like napping in this time and he just wakes up to me going like oh 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 oh, oh. and like he wakes up and it looks like we're just gonna go off this, this little but and so but then that was good just getting for getting a feel of the car but yeah the snowstorm was insane and we got to to rosetown and you know, Allison just made the call there. She's like, it, it is too crazy. And, you know, it's 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 one thing for us to maybe get there when doors open and just do line checks and stuff. But she's like, yeah, for anyone who knows Allison, you know, they know that she, like, she's, you know, she cares about the world. She cares about all her people and she cares about everybody. And she, so she's just like, it's one thing for us to get there, but it's another thing for, for people to come to the show maybe have a couple of drinks and then start driving home in this like that'd be that you know that's not so we decided it was best just for everyone to just cancel cancel that show and the other one got postponed because we were on our way to winnipeg and i remember we yeah we left we left rosetown to go to winnipeg and the storm was still just just it, it somehow got worse and i remember we were uh we were driving first and then um, like we were just going to give them updates on the road and then didn't make it too far because like we just kept hitting these snow drifts that were like almost up to my waist and like we just drive and we we drive through them <laughs> otherwise like, you just kind of get stuck on them right With no winter tires and so you drive through them and then suddenly this this snow drift just ends up on the windshield and you can't see for like three seconds wow and so we we pulled over and uh, then we saw the bus go by so then we were, we were driving behind the bus and like we were in like the tire grooves so that was nice and then uh you know we called them and said what are you guys thinking should we go back to rose town and they're just like there's nowhere to turn around like the only the only way to go right now is, is straight <laughs> that's an amazing story man i mean i think that uh we in toronto have got it way too good because uh, it's only snowed maybe twice, I think. And um, and let's just put it this way. Saskatoon, the last time I was there in Saskatoon was when the Junos were canceled. And I flew in, got canceled, I had to fly back out, and I felt the cold. And I said, never again in Saskatoon. <laughs> so I can only imagine the cold, the snow, and everything else. But brother... You did it, and you had to because if something happened to you, man, 
How are we going to not see you in Halifax for the Junos? And let's get to that, man. Congratulations. <laughs> well, it was, thank you. Well, it's crazy. Like one last thing was, was just like, so we had to, we ended up having a postponed Winnipeg too, because like I was driving, we were driving behind the bus and we got, the snow ended up getting deep. And I was, I, I stopped, I stopped the car. I was like, John, like, there's no way we're getting into the, this part of the road. Like if I drive into that snow pile, like I'm, we're stuck. And then, I don't know how long it's going to take someone to come pull us out. And so we stopped and then the bus was driving and uh, snow was just so thick that you, uh, you just, sometimes you just couldn't tell where the road was. So the bus just kept going. And then suddenly we just saw it start tipping, tipping, tipping. And uh, we're just watching this all go down, like just stuck there kind of helpless. Right. And like, those are our friends in that bus. And we're just like, Oh my God, Oh my God. And it goes. And then like, it should have it should have tipped over but i'm not sure what maneuver uh, they were doing in that bus but they managed to keep it but yeah like they went right off into the ditch and and uh thankfully no one was hurt i think people are definitely shook at um but yeah we stuck around they were able to get like a big record to come pull them out eventually but uh yeah that was that was the reason the the winnipeg show had to be postponed it was just like like we were barely going to make it to begin with in that snowstorm but then the bus going into the ditch like that was like yeah that was that was the post moment for that one and yeah it could have been a lot worse and it wasn't could have been a lot worse you know it's 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 interesting i'm glad you told these stories because a lot of people look people who are in the industry they look at stars like yourselves and when they see you on award shows or up on stage see the great clothes that you're wearing or you're backstage and you're having a good meal or something and they think oh that's the glamorous life that i want or when they see like maybe like the grammys or the oscar blah blah, blah all that stuff and they think oh wow they don't realize the hard work it takes just to get from a to b and it's like you're not limoed you know you're not uh you know you don't have a driver you know, you don't have all these luxuries that we think that the second a Juno Award winner is supposed to get. You're driving yourself through snow <laughs> and risking your life to perform for fans. That's the reality uh, of an artist, especially an artist here in Canada. Yeah, well, that's the thing is like, yeah, like, you know, you go, you you play the show and then like, it's just like, you know, everyone, everyone goes and like, it's, it's not like. This crazy celebration, like we we had such a great time playing with them. It's like, oh, now we got to pack up all this equipment, put it back on the bus, put it back in the car. We got to go to the merch table, pack up all those shirts, put them back in the car, and then you know get to the the hotel or wherever we're staying, and uh, yeah, get it, get like you know, five six hours sleep, and then get up early to be able to make it to the next place. Because like, yeah, touring and touring in Canada, like the the cities are so far apart that you just gotta like like there's the Winnipeg one would have been like we would have gotten up so got up so early when it would have driven nine hours and then got there, did the sound check, set up the merch tables and then play and then do it all over again, you know? <laughs> How many times have you slept in your car because of shows? Uh, you know what? Maybe I think in the first year, I think it only happened maybe once actually. And I was I was it was just a nap because I was too tired. Uh, cause usually, usually like I have plenty of friends in different towns. I was just like, Hey, do you want to, <laughs> you know, you know, whenever, when, when, you know, maybe you're not getting, you know, whatever, you got to make it work. Right. Um, but yeah, no, I haven't had to sleep in the car too, too much. Um, you know, thankfully, thankfully I, I have like good friends in different places. And, um, or, you know, maybe I'll shell out for, for a hotel or something too, so. Well, I hope you got a hotel room in Halifax, man, because uh, from what I can tell right now, it's pretty much sold out. I ch I actually booked my hotel in January because I had a feeling I knew what was going to be happening, man. How are you feeling headed to Halifax, especially with, what is it, one, two, three Juno nominations? Yeah, yeah. Um, man, I'm excited to get there. Um you know, I haven't spent too too much time in Halifax. I've been there maybe uh maybe three times right now. What's the weather like over there? I haven't even checked. I've been checking. Like... I've been checking every day because I need to know what kind of coat I'm taking. Uh last week it was it was like plus seven, but now it's like zero minus one plus one. 
So, because I'm worried about that, you know, 10 feet of snow kind of thing. And I don't want to be getting <laughs> caught in any of that. You know, I'm just like, no, 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 no. Let me hit there. Do what I got to do and get back. But, um, but yeah, but how, how, what are the nominations and congratulations again on that? Thank you. Uh, yeah. Uh, so nominated, nominated for contemporary indigenous artists of the year, uh, nominated for songwriter of the year and nominated for, uh, alternative album of the year. Okay. And the album is, uh, it's the, uh, here and now, here and now, uh, collection of songs that we put out, uh, October 20th. How how did that album represent you when you first released it? I mean, what was what was going on with you and in the writing process? I mean, what were your thoughts in putting this together? Because you never you you don't think, oh, I'm gonna put this together to be a Juno nominee. You just put it together because yeah. this is part of your life at that moment. Yeah, you know what? Like the this those songs were kind of a collection of of many songs I kind of wrote. Um you know, I was on the road basically almost the entire time. And so, like, the only, the only thing, like, you know, a lot of the songs I write, well, almost, like, every song I write has to have, for me, it's, like, just a, something very personal, something that I augment with, like, a little bit of my soul, you know, and, and so, I mean, playing shows, but, like, also, I guess, like, my personal life was kind of falling apart a bit, you know, kind of suffering, you know, like, being on the road a lot is, like, hard for, for a lot of, a lot of people's personal lives and and so you know i i you know lost friendships and then lost uh relationships you know i had a partner and, and uh that ended up falling apart too just because i was on the on the road and and you know this this industry and this this uh this job and, and which i love so dearly like it, it's it definitely it's a lot of work and and sometimes it like you know it's a lot of compromise and a lot of sacrifice and and yeah it's definitely taxing especially for you know all of the people you know didn't sign up for for this sort of thing you know like me being gone so long so you know i'd written all these 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 songs about this person that was such like a an important part of my life at one time and, and then suddenly they, they were gone right and so I, I wrote all these songs about it um generally what i do you know when i'm going through anything i'll just write a song you know everyone has their thing whether they do yoga or they go for runs or they they do something to kind of get them through the tough times right and so like i'll, I'll just write i'll just scream into a mic my, my emotions and then I'm, i i feel i you know i get to a, a place of peace and um so yeah I, I wrote songs about about this person and uh, i wasn't sure if i was gonna put them out or not you know um yeah even with my grandfather's story i was like hey do you mind if i write an album about these and do you mind if i put them out and and you know i got his consent and uh but yeah my this this person i uh wasn't sure if i was going to put them out you know how much how much of your personal life do you get to share and how much of, of somewhat of another person's story do you get to share right and uh but then actually they, they were starting to put out their breakup project as well. So I kind of was like, all right, like, it seems like <laughs> maybe we're not talking now, but we can talk a little bit through song, I suppose. Um, so yeah, yeah. Like that was, that was what that r record was about. was just kind of this, uh, this, this relationship that I, I was in before all this, all this stuff happened and, and, uh, It'd be, it's it's ending because of it yeah you know what i love is the fact what we just talked about and the reason why i'm saying that is because the other two um nominations very important but songwriter that's another level man how does that feel knowing that here you are expressing your personal life and you're getting a nomination for the song writing of these personal feelings yeah you know what it's it's um i, I gotta give a shout out to the people because like this was this was this project was the first time i've ever gone into like done collaborative writing you know and so for, for this record actually everyone i wrote with were, were kind of friends and so like that was 
like really special too. Um, it's interesting because like I, I guess I was like, what is that like? It kind of reminds me of, of just kind of getting three, you know, free therapy sessions. Kind of, <laughs> you go into these rooms with people, and and so like I've always written by myself, like that. Uh, my whole first record, I, I like was I did all the writing, and so like sitting and writing with other people, like it took me so long to get used to that. And by so long, I mean, I've only been writing with other people for maybe, when was my first co-write? I think 20, 2022, December of 2022, uh, I, I'd like met Serena Ryder and then Serena was like- Yeah, I remember that. that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Right, so, and so then, and then after that, like maybe I had a couple co-writes in like the months following, but then from like in the last year, I started really, really enjoying writing with people. You know, it's like I used to be such an island about it. I used to be so, so weird about just kind of opening up and letting people in. You know, it's such personal, personal spaces. And um, but since doing that, like I, I, I really love it. Like it's just, it, it really helps you step out of your own way. I, I don't know how other songwriters are. Um, I know people I talk to, but for me, like sometimes, man, I could be writing a song for like four years because I'm just like, ah, let's, let's, let's get hung up on a sentence, you know what I mean? Like, so it's it's really good to kind of have people be like, no, no, like, that's, that's good. Like, it's, um, yeah, it's really good for that, but also just really good for just like growing as a writer, just working with other writers too. And, and, and um, you know, we're, 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 we're so much better together. Um, so yeah, I definitely want to give a shout out to, to like all my friends who who I co-wrote these songs with. Like, you know, letting go. I, I wrote that with with Kyla Charter and and um, you know and and Scott McCannell and Kyla. Like, you can hear her all over my first record. You know, she she is a dear friend. We've known each other for a long time. So like to be able to kind of sit and 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 write a song from start to finish like was with with her and and was like super special um yeah it was super special to work on something together because like she had just you know so graciously gifted me with her time for this first record and then coming to all the million shows to, to present the record you know like it's because she's she's got her own projects as well and like so you know i'm, I'm always really have so much gratitude for people who who who, who have their own thing going on and and still just share their time with me so yeah shout, shout out to everyone who, who wrote on that that project with me but yeah now are you performing at the show on the broadcast yeah yes yeah. So me and allison russell uh yeah we're gonna we're gonna perform together we're doing the uh the in memoriam so we'll be doing the uh the tributes to, to some of the you know, canada's greatest singer songwriters who've passed away so yeah well, that's going to be cool, man. And as you probably heard me yapping away, I'm going to be there in Halifax. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. So I will be there in the press room. I'll be there in the red carpet. I'll be in the press room again. Um, and I remember last year with your win and we had a chance to speak. Uh, I also remember, too, was it the SOCAN Awards that we were? No, not the SOCAN mm -hmm. Awards. It was the, oh, gosh, it was another award show that we ran into each other at Massey Hall. And right. uh I know you've got a, a lot of shows and stuff going on. <laughs> Your life has changed a lot from the first time when I met you and I got a chance to introduce you at the Almocama at the uh, Lemon Stage uh, a while ago. Um, what advice can you give to this year's first time Juno nominees? Because you've been through it all, man. You've been through it and, and you're still kind of going through it now as we lead up to the show um, and the event. Uh what advice can you give first timers, man? Because they're probably just spinning right now, and uh, 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 but it's you know it's a crazy time for them. You know, I, I'd say work harder. You know, like keep doing what you're doing because that's what got you there in the first place. But you know, just keep working and work even harder because you know it's it's like I don't know who's on the juries. I don't know uh, for for these juniors, but there are peers. I know that much and. For whatever reason, they thought that what we're doing deserves to be recognized, and so to honor that, like, definitely, you know, honor that by by working harder. Because, like, 
these nominations they they give you some they give you some shine they give you some light and it's it's about it's up to us to kind of use that you know momentum and, and that springboard to help us get to that next level so yeah you know, just keep working working keep doing what you're doing and, and keep growing and keep uh challenging yourself and get out of those comfort zones and and, and evolve for them um so yeah just just i mean as soon as i i got the nominations i was like oh now the work starts even more <laughs> you know I was, I was like oh man the, no no breaks no rest for the, the wicked uh so you know as yeah yeah it's like it's you know our peers our peers thought thought we 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 have something so let's uh yeah let's let's do that something and so yeah just keep working on music keep keep doing the things that you love to do and also yeah you know take care of yourself definitely but yeah just keep working uh first time nominees enjoy the moment too that's that's one thing that i i kind of struggle with and then like i i have a team of really loving team around me who's always constantly like just chill out man just like take off the blinders for a second and and look around and and so like i'm really grateful to have that too because like yeah you know i always keep looking at the next thing i want to do or next thing i i the next challenge i want to give myself so it's um so yeah, like I, I get a like I get asked like, oh, how's the, the nomination feel? The nomination feels great, but it definitely doesn't feel like it's overnight or anything like it because it's like all the little steps to get there that people don't see. Um, so yeah, like it's it's. Uh, I mean, I, I I love this. I love getting to do this. Like this is this is wild to me that this is even a thing I get to do. I don't even think I can call it a job. Like, I don't even know what the word, the, we, we get rid of the word job and I don't know what it'd be called, but um, life, you know, I get to do life and, and that's such a privilege that's not lost on me. So um, yeah, you know, I'm just, just going to keep working. And I I know the people who, who got those Juno, Juno nominations also do the work. So yeah, I'm not sure what I can even tell them that they don't know themselves, but <laughs> Last question: Are you flying or driving there? Oh, we're driving. We're driving because the tour ends there. <laughs> <laughs> but it's great. It's great though because I have I have John with me. You know, John. I met him on the Dan Mangan tour because he was doing videography <laughs> for John. And then I, I, you know, I was like, oh, that's so smart. Like, because because John is an incredible videographer and photography. And some people just got that eye and. So I hired him to to come just kind of document the tour, but it's actually been so nice just having like uh, <laughs> someone to hang out with in that car too. Um, but yeah, um, we're, we're, we're doing uh, we're doing the Allison tour from from here to I think we play the Halifax on the Thursday, mm -hmm. and then we play Lu Lunenburg on the Friday, and then we're back in Halifax that night. Kind of wow. Well, well, either way, man, I will see you there. Drive safe. Yeah. I'm going to be like, I'm literally now going to be like watching every post that you do to make sure <laughs> that you make it down there because wow. Anyways, look, brother, congrats, congratulations again. Uh, looking forward to seeing you down there. My fingers are crossed for you and uh, all the best. And like I said, man, either I'll see you in the press room or I'll see you on the red carpet. Either way, man. Yeah, I can grab a coffee or something. Yeah. <laughs>